family. It's February 2nd, 2019, and we are about to start our 28th Ask Tamily interview. 28! Can you believe that? Um, this is Alita. Her Instagram name is Litsa612. So definitely follow her if you aren't already. Hello! Hi! Yay, technology's working beautifully. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed on that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, let's welcome Alita to the 28th Ask Tamily interview. Alita, thank you for being our guest today. My pleasure. So nice We're, to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. It's been um, three years, but... I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> Me either. I was like thinking it was two, and then I'm like, no, it's three. Um, but this is going to be a, a little fun. I like when we interview people who I already know the answers to some of their questions, and then I get to learn more things, too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We do have some questions planned for Alita, but the most fun thing to do is ask questions live. So we'll definitely scroll through the feed and check for any questions, but we'll go ahead and start with some that we have planned. Um, the first one is our favorite, and that's when and how did you start the Tracy Anderson Method? Okay, so I started in September 2012. Um, I was visiting my sister uh, for her birthday in New York City, and, um, you know, we'd gone out the night before, and I wake up the next day, and I'm on the couch, and I just start flipping through the channels, and Tracy's infomercial came on for Metamorphosis. And I was like, this looks awesome. And it's like, this is, looks like a great workout, and I would love to get the kind of results that I'm seeing that she has. And then I said, don't buy stuff off of an infomercial at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. So mm -hmm. I went home. It was like I sent the website to myself so I could look at it. And then once I did get a chance to look and I found my Centric, um, I ordered it. And a couple weeks later, I started. What Centric were you? Uh, Abcentric. Although I haven't asked Stacy if that is truly, but that was my judgment based on the website. So. <laughs> um, so once you started with Metamorphosis, what happened after that? So at first um, I started Metamorphosis and I was doing the workout, you know, three or four times a week after work. And then a few months in, I was like, you know what? I want to be consistent, like Tracy said. So I switched to the mornings because so I said, you know, this way I know work won't interfere. I already have it done for the day so I, I did that and from there it, the, it just took off the results were great um, and it continued on with continuity um, and I say I probably got into the second year several months when I won a free month of streaming with oh. Tracy's breast cancer research foundation so I was like well, great um, so I tried streaming and of course it was like well I guess I'll continue to stream mm -hmm. um, and actually coincided with what was my, I think, three-year anniversary, so I converted. And <clears throat> I've been mainly streaming since then. I did finish the second year of continuity at some point during my journey, but I've been back to only streaming for two years now. Yeah. So. Awesome. Um, why did you decide to choose the Tracy Anderson method over other fitness methods? So... Um, I loved the, not only like the, the results, like I wanted the lean lines like that. I've always liked workouts like yoga and Pilates that create that. And I tend to bulk more. Like I had an era where I did Jillian Michaels workouts or I did some weightlifting with friends in college. And, you know, I just would notice that my thighs and my shoulders would, would get more muscular than I wanted. So, um, it's like, you know, Tracy's look is exactly what I'm looking for. And I loved that it combined some dancing, you know, so a cardio component that was fun as well as the sculpting moves in the, uh, muscular structure as it was in metamorphosis. So, and then once you add on that, it changed then every 10 days and now every week, it's like, well, this seems great. You know, I just worried like, what if we run out of workouts when I was doing <laughs> continuity? So. Right. Hopefully that's literally never going to happen. Yeah, that was the great thing about streaming is it came along when I was in that second year and I was like, okay, there's going to be plenty more for me to do. So, Well, and it's so amazing, too, in the streaming to see, like, how creative she is and the different moves that we have. Like, it is amazing every single week. Yes. And so 
some of the ones in continuity as well. I was thinking about, you know, you, you, you'd have multiple roles on the floor and then and go into a position or, you know, just, I don't know how she would come up with it, but it made it so fun to, you know, try and do better each day. So, um, so since you've started, what kind of results have you seen? So um, when I started in 2012, I had about 30 pounds of stress and desk job weight to lose. Um, I was able to lose all of that with uh, metamorphosis and continuity, especially once I dedicated to doing five, six mornings a week. Um, and while that was happening, uh, the changes that I saw like with my arms and the, even the shape of my legs, um, I've never seen anything like it with any other kind of fitness. Um, I also noticed that um, even just two or three days into the muscular structure, I put on a pair of slacks. And I was like, these are looser in the thighs than they were the last time I wore them, just after a couple days of, you know, the way Tracy works your body. So um, it's been great. Um, you continue to see results over time because I'm um, um, a little over six years into the method now and like, you know, you still see your arms develop and, and you notice things about you know, the way your body looks. So, and of course, I feel great as well. Yes, <laughs> that's the most important part. Um, who would you say in the family inspires you? Um, I'm going to say, uh, you know, Danka is always the first one that comes mm -hmm. to mind because I just love hearing her assure everyone to confident in themselves and to you know be honest with themselves on you know work hard do your best don't don't be too hard on yourself and I really agree with a lot of her views and I will also say because I have gotten to meet a lot of the family over the years so there's a lot of people that I've met that inspire me but on a regular basis seeing um you know I'll if I'm waking up one morning to do the workout and I'm struggling I just know if I click on, I'm going to see like, oh, you know, here's everybody hitting the mat. And that is such a big help for me. Like, you know, you want to get the workout in. Let's get up and get going. So it's very inspirational. Um, how do you personally get and stay motivated to work out regularly? Um, I, I just decided when, and, and it was January, so a little over six years ago that I wanted to be doing the workout five, six days a week, like Tracy recommended. So, all right, I'm going to start getting up before work. I'm going to get it done. And it's, it's going to be part of my day, a non-negotiable part of my day, like brushing your teeth. Um, so once I just set that habit, it gave me the benefit of being able to, um, you know, cause with my work, there are a lot of nights where I'm working until eight or nine o'clock or longer. And if not, then I might want to see friends. And I was like, if you get the work done in the morning, you have the evening to have time for your life. Mm -hmm. And um, I also think that knowing that I'm going to enjoy the workout, it'll wake me up, um, it'll get my brain moving, I'll feel great after, and I'll feel energized after. So what time do you actually work out every day? So my alarm goes off at 5.10, um, and then I get up and I'm trying to be up there no later than 5.30 so that I can do the hour of master class um, and then get ready so I can then be in the office, you know, leave the house by 8 o'clock. Okay. Do you do um, dance cardio as well? All right, so I don't as much as I used to. And I am sad about that, but for reasons that I do want to talk about, I had to cut back the amount of time that I spent working out. So now... Um, you know, if I am getting right out of bed at 510, I would have probably 10 or 15 minutes for dance cardio longer on shorter weeks. So if I can fit that in, I will, um, on weekends, I'll do a little more when I have time, <clears throat> but yeah, it's not, I, I used to be 30 minutes every day and it's not the case anymore. And, and I do like, I really enjoyed the dancing. So it, it is something I miss. Um, I know one question I think was posted on the Ask Family page was if you have a favorite dance? I um, I think Runway is the answer to that, which is from the Dance Cardio 2. I just find it so fun. Um, I like a lot of the ones from Dance Cardio 2. Okay. So. Um, have you, or I'm sorry, do you have any workout partners? So I have a 
cat that I adopted from the cat rescue that I work with. Um, I was fostering him and he was just so sweet and, you know, just so shy about going out and meeting potential families. And I just said, I want to keep him for me. He will poke his head in and then come in and um, either sit on the couch behind me watching. Um, today, he walked right up to the computer and was watching Tracy move. <laughs> but he's, you know, he wants to be pet a little bit. He's not as obtrusive as some of the other TAM pets <laughs> that I've seen. Um, yeah. But he's he's really cute and sweet, so he's great. Oh, what's his name? Augustine. Aw. That was what he came with. And I was like, well, I, I don't know what else to name him, so. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know the answer to this one, but I'm excited to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, have you ever met Tracy? I have met Tracy. Um, yes, which leads into another question. So I know you have. Um, I've gone to three Vitality Weeks and a Vitality Day. So I have I've got okay. to spend some time with Tracy. Excellent. Were you able to ask her any questions? I actually... I know that I asked her in Tampa, um, at that time she was talking about food sensitivity testing and it's not available in New York state where I live. So I asked about that. I didn't get to ask her a question at the vitality day that I wanted to. Um, but I always like each vitality week that I went to, she shared so much and there were things that I would have asked that other people mm -hmm. asked about. Um, so that was a question. Have you ever been to a vitality week? Have you been to a studio? Yes. Um, I mean, I'd love to share a little bit about each Vitality Week. If, oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Let's do that. Yeah, so the first one I went to was in January of 2015. It was in Tribeca at the old studio. And um, I was still, uh, I was in continuity. I had never worked out in heat and humidity before, but, you know, I was like, I would always look at the Tracy Anderson website because, you know, oh, she's um, selling anything new or is there new stuff coming along? And it's like, oh, there's going to be a Vitality Week. And I was like, I want to try that. So I went and I did. And I just, I wanted to share that because not only was it such an amazing experience, like Tracy sat and talked with us for over an hour each day. And then the workouts were over an hour. And then we also did almost an hour of dance cardio. And I had never worked out in heat and humidity before. And I just wanted people to know that even if you haven't, you can do it, you're ready for it. And it doesn't matter if you have to like take a break for a couple reps or, you know, make sure that you're okay. Everyone's just there supporting each other. It's great. Um, and then the second one I went to was in Chicago that summer. And, uh, it was, that was like a completely different setup than Tribeca. It was one of the first ones that were away from the studio and a lot of Tracy's family was there. So it was really cool. And I loved seeing Chicago and meeting a bunch of the family women there. And then I went to Tampa, which is where I met Suzanne. We spent time together. We're in the same hotel, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a huge group of women from Instagram were there. So it was really a, a neat opportunity to meet a bunch of people in person. Um, and it was a great time of year, February, to get out of the Northeast and, uh, you know, be by the ocean. Uh, and then I did one of the Vitality Days at the 59th Street studio, um, which I think was almost two years ago now. It had just opened, so I wanted to check out the studio. And I was already in the city, again, visiting my sister, so I was like, I'm just going to stay an extra day and do this program. So it was um, great to see the studio and hear what Tracy had to say at that point. So. That's awesome. And then I also went to um, Watermill a couple times now, um, you know, just long weekends and trips out to the Hamptons. And I went to 59th a few other times because if I'm in New York for a conference or I'm visiting my sister, it's actually really easy to get to 59th Street from where she lives. So that's uh, convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's like three subway stops. And I was like, oh, wow. If I can do this without getting lost, then it's definitely an easy trip. So, um, and I was just down for a conference a couple weeks ago. And a bunch of women were meeting, and so I went and did uh, the intermediate class with a group of the family. Oh, yeah. I think I saw yeah. pictures of that on Instagram. Yeah. And it was great because, you know, when you're at a conference, you're like, oh, I've got to go out for this dinner, and then I'm going to not get my workout in. It's like I got to meet all these people, and I got my workout in That's before amazing. the conference even started. So. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so do you have any advice for someone that's new to the family? 
Yes, I would say um, you got to look at it like it's a journey because it's very different from any other kind of fitness that I've ever seen. And I remember at the beginning, you know, I, I was dedicated, I was going to do the full hour, but I just remember saying to myself, like, well, these moves are so different, but just keep working at it. It's like any journey begins with a single step. And just, and once you keep going, after a while, it becomes natural to learn more and you, you learn so much about how to watch Tracy. Um, and also, um, you know, there are a ton of resources to answer questions, like in the Facebook book groups and on Instagram, but also try not to worry too much about whether you're doing it right or not. Because if you're, if you're streaming and you're watching the breakdowns or if you're doing the continuity and meta, there is instructions in the um, DVD about how to do the moves. So you're going to do well if you just keep working. That's great. Important advice. Um, and before I ask the next question, I'm just going to apologize that my dogs keep barking. Someone is moving in my neighborhood and they do not <laughs> Um, they also learned how to open doors recently, and they opened the door to this. So I'm going to close it. <laughs> okay. Well, I understand. And actually, one of my cats is sitting next to me, so that could also be why your dog's barking. So, that's, <laughs> okay, yeah, so. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing about the Tracy Anderson method? So, um, the, the challenge, like the challenge to you know, the mental challenge. Like I was doing one of the moves this morning. Um, today I did the advanced intermediate and there's one where you just cannot do it unless you quiet your mind and just say this, 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 otherwise you're going to miss it or the legs are going to be wrong. And I, I love that mental focus. Um, I love that it changes every week. So it's always engaging and the moves themselves are engaging. Um, have you personally faced any challenges with doing the method? So, um, I have, and it's kind of funny because the method helped me realize what was wrong, but then I had to kind of regroup and, um, and face the challenge that I realized was there. Uh, let's see, two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed as hypothyroid and with Hashimoto's. So... You know, I had sensed that something was wrong for a few months. Um, shortly, a few months after Tampa, I started noticing, it's like, I'm a lot more tired than usual, and I'm not excited about the workout. And that's completely unusual because, you know, usually even if you're, you know, tired, or you just want to, you know, get through that one day until your rest day, you still enjoy it. But I was like, this isn't like me. And this, you know, I was starting to notice other symptoms. And so I started backing off. That's when I switched back to continuity because I said, I need to do just an hour a day because um, I'm just really tired and hopefully, you know, I'm just, maybe I'm just burned out from work and some other stuff started happening. So um, I had blood work done and they found out that I was um, fairly severely hypothyroid. So um, I started the medication and that takes four to six weeks to start helping with the symptoms. So as I was going through that, I had to really listen carefully and say, all right, if you are feeling more tired today, take that extra rest day. So, you know, that was probably an era where it was four days a week, five, maybe three if I was tired. Um, and then it was a challenge because I had to really refocus myself and say, you know, this workout is going to be great to help me um, manage the stress, to be a way to engage in self-care but also don't push too far because you don't want to make yourself feel worse. And it's been a long journey with that. It was probably a good six, eight months before I felt like, okay, now you can start seeing if you can, you know, do the advanced master class five days a week instead of saying, all right, I'm going to do beginners today um, and then advanced a couple times and then take a rest day. So how are things going now? Is it under control? Uh, yes. So my levels have been good for a while and I've actually, I've been working with a naturopath because I was still experiencing a lot of symptoms. And one of the things, like I said, that I love about the method is that you become so in tune with your body that, you know, you know that you're not feeling the way that you should and that it's not because of work or because of a challenge that like gets tired in a different way. Um, and so with the naturopath, he's really been helping like, okay, I had vitamin B deficiency and iron issues and that helped a lot and then really just making sure that I 
carve out certain self care for myself. Like, all right, make sure you get seven hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to get eight, but you really need to get seven. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get eight, that's fine too. Um, and you need to make sure to take a break if you're exhausted or I, I actually got, um, a treadmill a couple winters ago, not to run. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't run anymore. Um, but to walk, especially in the winter in the Northeast and in the morning, there are going to be months and months where it's dark until six thirty or seven. So if I want to just move in any way, mm -hmm. that way I can go upstairs and just walk on the treadmill for 15 minutes just to do some kind of yeah. movement. If I'm not up for the full workout or sometimes I'll get up and just do arms to say, I mm -hmm. just want to get the blood moving. And yes. you know, yeah, that's an excellent point. Cause I mean, even if you are tired, arms are like a way to connect and it's usually yes. not too strenuous but that's an excellent point. yeah and it's you know it's fun because you get the music you get some energy and then and and i always and i think that's another thing i would want um not only people who are new but folks who are worried about whether they're doing enough is that any day when i would say okay i'm only going to have time for beginners because i needed more sleep or um you know, I did the arms today because I'm still trying to recover. I would say to myself at the end, well, it's not as much as you would have done, but you did something and that's good. You, you were able to come and, and move your body and it's a step forward. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. But yeah, I would say the last, well, actually probably since this year for sure, I felt much more like myself and, you know, like back to the energy levels of being able to do advanced master class every day. Um, I still am like a five to six days a week person. I take a rest day, but, um, I know I've just been feeling much more like me and that's been wonderful. That's excellent. Um, why is your workout so important to you? There are several reasons. Um, one is not just, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, such great stress relief and it really energizes. Um, and I really enjoy it. And for something to be such a big part of your day after six years and still going, it really says something. But I also have had the pleasure of other autoimmune conditions and SI joint pain where I experienced, um, when I was 28, I had Lyme disease and then it turned out that it was sarcoidosis, which is another kind of autoimmune condition. And it showed up as severe swollen joints, my ankles, my knees, and my elbows. And I would always joke, like, never in the wrist so that I can't go to work, but just to make it difficult to walk. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> um, you know, when you have trouble walking when you're 28, to be able to move and to, to keep your body strong with, with a workout like this that is going to give you functional strength for the long term is everything. And um, I also started getting bouts of SI joint pain. And I, I, for me, I think that running made it worse, which is why I don't run anymore. I used to run occasionally two, three times a week, mm -hmm. but, um, I would notice these flare ups of it. It's, it's like, um, sciatic pain, but it's just localized to your upper back or your upper hip and um, mm -hmm. on top of your butt really. So mm -hmm. once I started doing the method and especially once I added heat and humidity, um, those bouts, they used to come like clockwork, like every six months for two or three weeks, I was in excruciating pain. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to lay and sleep and it's it's an alignment issue a lot of it which makes the workout so great to manage it um but doing the workout even when i was having the pain helps and i have not had many bouts of it at all since doing this method so it's really great for that as well that's amazing um we do have a question in the chat which is what's the greatest takeaway from a vitality week lecture that you've had Oh, that is a tough one. I mean, I remember walking in it, the first one I went to, which I cannot believe was four years ago now. I, I was on the phone with one of my friends and Tracy was just sitting at the table. She was doing, um, was one of the ones where she did consultations with people. Oh, okay. If you wanted to make an appointment with her. And then I think, you know, like you, you paid extra because you were meeting one-on-one -on -one with her. And someone was doing that. And I was just talking to my friend. I was like, oh my God, Tracy Anderson is sitting right there. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Um, one of the things that sticks out in my mind that I've really started to understand more and more over time, she, um, was talking about Penny 
and she's like, Penny is two, and she can just climb right up onto that counter over there, and she can move her body without restricting her movement, and she's like, and then over time, you know, if she gets injured, she hurts herself, she'll start to restrict the way she moves, or she'll just forget um, to move freely. She's like, it's my goal to make you move freely like that. And more and more, especially some of the moves, you know, where you're like leaping and things, I was like, no, this is what she means. She wants you to have this full range of motion without restriction. And it's, it's kind of cool to hear those things come back over time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even like, I think she said something similar to that around like being on the floor and being comfortable with some of like the wild things that we do of like yes around and moving your entire body from off the floor to you know like do we need to levitate how can we do these and yes. let's do them because it's really yes. just like we impose these mental restrictions on what we can do and yes we have so much more capability and that's one of the things that i started noticing continuity like and it still happens in streaming. You're it, this, just last week, you know, the move in advance, there's two moves where you get up off the ground and you're kicking. And I was just like, no, 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 no. And then I was like, <laughs> try it. And I would always in continuity be like, there's no way I can do this. And then say, or it was just the first day. And so I did the same thing. And I was amazed over the week that you're able to learn it. And it's yeah. it really is. You just have to say to yourself, I can do this. And some of the moves also, which in continuity, I had to learn that, all right, it looks like they're doing it this way, but you have to use a different part of your body. And this was one of the chair moves where it looked like you were, like you were stepping up um, onto the chair and like lifting your leg up. And if you use your legs to do it, you can only do four or five and then your thighs are killing you. And I'm like, no, that's not what she wanted. I had to say, she must want me to lift with my core. And once I do that, you can do it. And all the time in streaming, it's the same, like the splat push up. She doesn't want us to be, pushing with our arms they help us while our body is lifting us right. up and it's just it's such a unique way to challenge us it really is and there is truly that moment where you realize like oh i thought i was rolling my hips or moving my arm but you're really using your entire body and then mm -hmm. it's a completely different feeling and move and it also to your point you're better able to do it because you're really using your whole self. But it's like yes. it keeps that evolution with Tracy. And I yes. think it continues no matter how long you've been doing the method. Oh, I absolutely agree. Yeah. You, just last week, I was going, I can't. I, there's no way. And I was like, even on the second side, it's like, okay, I'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still never did that move where we had to totally stand up from laying down, though. So I got to get that. I didn't either. Oh, <laughs> that's like the challenge of yes. the entire time I've been streaming. Um, so what do your friends and family think of the Tracy Anderson method? So um, none of them have tried it, but that's okay. Well, actually one friend tried it and she, um, she, she's a former Pilates and yoga instructor and she was like, it burns so much. It hurts. And so she just was like, it's just not for me. But, you know, she had asked about it because of how much I was enjoying it and the results. And um, I have family members that do all varieties of other fitness. Um, and they've all, like, respected that, like, the dedication and making it part of my life. Um, my mom had, like, complimented me on the results, which, you know, when a mom has something positive to say like that, it's great. Um and of course, a lot of them have seen me do the workout because if I'm either they're visiting or I'm visiting them and I want to get the workout in, like, you know, do you mind if I just put my headphones on and do this while we're, you know, watching a movie or watching the news or something? So they're aware that it's a part of my life. Um, and I think a lot of my friends know, like, I support the fitness methods that they do and that they know that I'm very happy with the fitness that I do. Absolutely. It's not really about what it is that you do, but it's, you know, your move. Yeah, it, it, you, it's important to enjoy whatever form it is and, um, you know, to, to get the most out of it. Anyone that has discipline to, you know, make it a fitness regular part of their life, it's a great thing. Absolutely. Um, I know we've talked a little bit about this, but tell us about your routine and how you really fit your workout into your life. 
Okay, so um, let's see. I get up. Um, I mean, I grew up on a dairy farm, so the idea of having to get up early and do something is not new for me. <laughs> but um, for my adult life, I had been more, you know, just get ready for work. But, yes, yeah, six years ago I decided I'm going to start getting up um, at, at five or so. And so now I get up. I take my thyroid meds. You have to take um, a half hour to an hour with no food. So I was like, it's the perfect window. So I then get dressed and go upstairs. Um, I usually, uh, well, see, periodically, because there were several years after my first vitality week where I had full heat and humidity set up. Mm-hmm. Once the thyroid issues started, I backed off from that. Like if I, if I was feeling it, I did it. If not, I didn't. Okay. Um, if I could just sidebar a little, I do want to let people know, cause I, I know there are always a lot of questions about what if I don't have it? What if my space is too big? I lost all of the weight I wanted to lose and got amazing results in the first two and a half years without heat and humidity. So this is an excellent program. Um, if it's not going to work for you to do it, you'll still get great results. And now, um, it mainly, I mean, in the summer it's easier cause my space is upstairs. So it's already hot even at, you know, five o'clock in the morning. Um, but I will, if, if I'm feeling it, I'll have some heat and humidity. And now with the cold weather, it's extremely cold Mm -hmm. in the Northeast. (laughs) Um, even for us the past few days, uh, it's like, I'm definitely going to have at least, you know, 75, 80 degrees and some humidity because my house is really dry. Uh, but yeah, I'll go up that I use timers to set that up so that when I walk in, um, like the heater has started an hour or so before I wake up, okay. the steamer runs. Um, I started using a closed steamer after that January Tribeca because I came home and I was like, I need to have um, the heat and humidity. It's just so great. And I was using a humidifier and I was like, this isn't heating up at all. And then I was like, Tracy had said something about like, if you're in a hotel room, run the shower and the steam can come out. And I was like, what in the what in life is like that? And I was like, my sisters use closed steamers. I never do. I'm terrible about ironing. <laughs> but I was like, those create so much steam really mm-hmm. fast. And so I bought one and um, that will bring the humidity up to 50, 60% in like 20 minutes. So wow. I set that up in the heat. And then, so I walk in and I just hit play. And it, when I was doing the dance cardio, I used to do that first. Okay. Um, but now I jump right into whichever class I'm doing, which um, is usually now probably 90% or more of the time is master class. Okay. Um, and then uh, I've got my water with me. I've, I've got towels. And then once it's done, um, I, of course, track, like, still, I've still got the calendar printed out, like, from <laughs> Metamorphosis. So I track the daily weight and, you know, now they have a Fitbit, like the calorie burn, what workout I did and stuff. And then um, after that, it's perfect to make a smoothie and get ready for my work day. Excellent. Um, so when you deviate from Masterclass, do you just sometimes try intermediate? Do we ever do beginners? So most of the time, if I try, because there's, there's a lot of weeks where I just jump into Masterclass and that's all I do. Um, sometimes I want to try the intermediate just because, you know, oh, it's an extra, it's, it's an extra day that I could do, you know, I'll do five, uh, masterclass one intermediate. Okay. Um, sometimes the masterclass just, my body says, no, this one's not going to work for you. So I'll try the intermediate sometimes as, um, I am an attorney and I do a lot of litigation. So sometimes if the hours are really pushing me, then that's when I'll say, all right, it'll be intermediate. Or if I need the extra sleep, I'm going to do beginners or another half hour workout that she's got available. Like multitask is actually right. a great option for that so that I can still do something, but I can kind of balance with, you know, the energy I'm going to need to do another day of litigation. So. Um. What is something that's important to you in your life that you would like the family to know? Let's see. Well, I did, um, I do enjoy uh, working with animals. The foster group that I have uh, helped out for a couple of years now, I take in a, a cat that needs a foster home until uh, they get adopted uh, several times a year because I have a few cats already. And so since I 
had a foster fail in Augustine. I was like, I can only take one foster yeah. and sometimes, <laughs> um, but it's really, you know, I, it, it adds extra obligation to things, but you know, the group will say like, well, there's this cat that's just in a crate in our basement, you know, do you, and I was like, of course I can take the cat. Cause I have a guest bedroom that I set up for them. And then I start integrating them with my pets. It's not only easier for me, but you know, that way you can see how well they would do with other animals if they were in a home and then you bring them to clinics on the weekends. Um, and it's wonderful to be able to help out and then see the pet go off and, you know, see a family fall in love with them and say, all right, that's great. So that's awesome. What is the, um, what's the organization called that you work with? It's called orange street cats. Um, I found out about them because, uh, Let's see, some of the lawyers in my office went to Pace Law School. And so this woman they know who kind of organizes Pace Law get-togethers um, in Albany, she works with the group. And they're like, oh, our friend is having a, like a benefit for this Orange Street Cats group at McGeary's, which is a place that I really like to go for you know happy hour. And I was like, well, I stopped listening after McGeary's. I'm going I'm to go. <laughs> and I just I got involved. And um yeah, they're a nice, solid group. I think they have like 100 cats that they're fostering with volunteers. And then they have, I mean, I know the cats that I have usually get adopted within a few weeks, sometimes two to three months. So they're bringing it in and caring for a lot of animals. That's awesome. What a fantastic organization. Um, so we kind of know the answer to this question, but I'm still asking it. Where do you live and what do you do? All right, so I live outside of Albany, New York. Um, it's about two and a half hours north of New York City, which actually makes it great for stuff like going to the studio, going to Vitality Weeks, um, going out to the Hamptons. Uh, and it's, um, I practice environmental law and land use, uh, as well as commercial litigation and construction. I'm actually a partner at my firm. Um, oh. Let's see, I was a partner in my last firm as well, but um, my, I left there because my mentor from my first firm had created an environmental department at the firm that I'm at now. So it was an opportunity to work with someone that um, I know and, and I enjoy working with. So we help um, any kind of project that wants to be built, like say Tracy wants to build a new studio. Mm -hmm. They need to comply with environmental review and permitting and zoning reviews. Um, some are more complex than others, and we help them, you know, comply with those processes and, and build um, their projects. And then the construction and commercial side comes in if, you know, issues come up later on with things. Um, we're also, one of the things that's so interesting is that we're, like right now I'm working on a ton of wind and solar projects because any kind of project that needs to be built needs an environmental attorney or someone who knows about environmental laws to make sure that they're complying with everything when they go forward. So, you know, when you hear about these big developments in a New York state, renewable is huge, you know, right now. And to be at the forefront because your area of expertise is so relevant for them is really exciting and it makes every case different and interesting. That is awesome. Um, we have one other question planned for you, but I want to check if there's any more questions in the chat. Oh, um, Nicole asks, what's your favorite smoothie combo? That's tough. See, I'm, um, I'm a picky eater naturally, but I find that with smoothies, I can enjoy so many more things because a lot of what I'm picky about is texture. So like there are a lot of fruits that I wouldn't necessarily eat them Mm -hmm. sitting in a bowl, but I love them in smoothies. I think one of my favorites right now is um, it's ha half a cup of peaches, half a cup of blackberries, a Ooh. quarter cup of almonds and walnuts, and a bunch of greens, and then water. Um, and it just, between that little bit of nutty taste and the berries, it's delicious. So I also really love blueberry, though. That sometimes I do good. protein powder, but sometimes I'll just do like some eggs afterwards or something. Okay. Cool. That is not a combination I would think of, but it sounds like it might be really good. Um, so if anyone else has a question that you want to type in, you can go ahead and type it in now. Um, but I am going to ask Alita, 
who would you like to see featured in a future Ask Tamily interview? Um, I would love to see uh, Nadine Andrea. Okay. She's she's one that, even though she's in New Jersey and I'm here, um, we haven't met in real life, and she's so dedicated. So, um, yeah, she's been a constant since before I was even on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting is I had never used Instagram. Um, actually, the the Vitality Week in Tribeca is why I even downloaded the app because Tracy took a picture of us. And she's like, I'm going to post this on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I don't know what that is. But <laughs> then I found the picture and then I started searching the Tracy Anderson method hashtag. And that's how I started finding all of these people. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's then, amazing. That's, so I don't know. There's just been so many at this point, there's been so many different folks that have come up. I feel like there's tons of interesting people you could bring on for months to come. At That's least. true. Yeah. I, I don't think we're going to run out of people, um, but we always like to ask. And of course we'll reach out to, you know, anybody, especially that someone we're interviewing suggests. So hopefully maybe we'll say yes and we'll get her set up. Great. Um, I don't see any other questions in the chat, so you guys have another few minutes to type in if you want to. Um, and Alita, I would just ask if there's anything else you'd like to say to the family since you have this audience. I mean, I've touched on a lot. I really, I do want to encourage people to um, really follow what Tracy says about balance. You know, make sure to like enjoy the workout, but if you have to take a rest day or you, you can't do a move to, you know, just keep working at it and be happy with what you have done for the day or for the week. Um, because it just keeps going on and it becomes part of your life and you know, you'll be doing even better than you thought before you know it. Um, thank you for that, Alita. That's an excellent point. And we do have another question from Alexandra. Do you have a favorite day to do the Tracy Anderson? A favorite what? Day of the week, I guess. Hmm. I see. I would probably say that Saturday. And that's because, you know, like Thursday morning, almost always there's the new workout and that's fun. Um, but then Saturday, and I'll work out on Friday as well, but Saturday I can really, like, I can make sure that the room is heated if I'm heating it. And I can um, do the full workout and say, hey, do I have the energy to do a little dance cardio? Uh, and then I know, like, if, if I am going to push a little bit, I'm going to be taking that rest day on Sunday. So that's probably my favorite. And then, yeah, just jump back in Monday morning. Do you usually take rest days on Sunday, or do you vary that? It's almost always Sunday, although, like, over the holiday season, I did Sunday workout so that with the day of holiday with my family or because it was New Year's, if I needed to take the rest day then. I've always – I really um, – think that if I'm a person that needs a rest day and I think if you're a person that needs a rest day you should definitely take it um I almost always find that um even if I'm particularly sore from the workout I'll either do a different one or just walk or take a rest day and my weight will be down after that because I've let my body kind of regroup a little bit and then I'm it's easier to do the workout for me if I've kind of given it a little bit but usually it's one rest day on Sunday and then if there's a second one it's because of a schedule issue or because I'm tired um we have another question from Tim in Toronto how do you like to unwind other than doing the Tracy Anderson method so probably two main ways one is um to get together with a good friend after work either you know make dinner, have dinner, glass of wine. Um, and also I love to cook. So if I'm coming home and I have time, you know, I will put on a show and cook myself something. And then, um, you know, maybe try to do a few things around the house. Cause I do try to go to bed by 10 to get up mm -hmm. at five. So yeah. I get a little time to relax, but really it's the cooking that I enjoy. That's wonderful. Uh, well, I think that that is um, all the questions for us in the chat. Thank you so much for sharing some knowledge with us and taking um, some time to talk to the family. We really appreciate the little um, nuggets that you shared and getting to know you, Alita. Well, 
Well, thank you. And thank you so much for inviting me and for putting this together. You two are um, a, a great team. So Thank you. Yes. We really love doing this, and we'll keep doing it forever and ever. So um, just keep the names coming to us, and we'll keep <laughs> people. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Alita. Have an awesome weekend. You too. Bye. Bye, Tamlin. Bye.